Bruce, Betty, you're all right. Thank Hannah. Oh, crash. This is the Hall of Justice? It looked a lot better. I mean, it looks great. Uh, we need a word with you guys. What's on your mind, Barry? The future, unfortunately. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since Rip came by Star Labs that one day. I'm more concerned now than I was before. This is Impulse. He's, well, let's just say a future relative of mine. It's nice to meet you, Impulse. I'm... Diana Prince. Yes, I know. You're Arthur Curry, Bruce Wayne, Oliver Queen, and of course I know my old man here. Right. As you were saying, Barry? Yes. When he came back, he said someone might have followed him. A criminal by the name of Epoch. According to him, this Epoch once captured all the villains in the future and held them in a prison outside of time. A prison outside of time? But how is that even possible? He was a rather genius man, despite all the evil he did. With that genius, he was able to use future tech to create a device that could travel through time and outside of it. What you're saying is that he had the resources to build a prison only he could get to. Meaning he could literally get anything he wanted. But why is he after you? I may or may not have been trying to stop him. I was a part of a group, let's say a younger version of the Justice League. But all of our attempts were countered, as if he had already seen what we were going to do. If he knew that, then how did you escape? Wouldn't he have seen that? Well, as you know, Gramps, us speedsters aren't exactly predictable. Which I'm thinking is the only reason I got out of there and ran straight to this point in history. I will admit, though, I didn't actually think I'd make it here, so it's rather luck that I'm even here. So we quite possibly have a man from the future coming for impulse here. I'll be in my quarters if anyone needs me. So, impulse, do you have a real name we can call you, or just impulse? Maybe we should just stick with impulse, you know? To keep it from getting more confusing and all? Well, at least you're staying true to yourself, I suppose. Indeed. Barry, we'll let you and Impulse here have some time alone. Let us know if you discover anything about our time-traveling criminal. Will do, guys. It was a pleasure to meet you, Impulse. Indeed. I hope we get to know you more in the... Actually, never mind. So what's first, Pops? Well, the first thing is you're going to tell me everything you know about this epoch. Then we're going to find a way to get you back to the future, where you belong. Man, I always thought you were the fun one. I guess I was wrong. Hey, I can have fun. It's just right now isn't the time to have fun. Do you understand me? Don't worry. I understand. Unfortunately. Good. All right. So tell me everything you know. I'm telling you, Bats. Something is definitely going on. Why else would a guy who can trap people in their darkest places be working with a woman who literally looks like some better armored stormtrooper with a huge weapon? On top of that, they both targeted key members of the League for something. You honestly can't tell me you aren't a bit suspicious. I've been thinking about it ever since we got back. You're not wrong when you say something is going on. There's a secret motive in play, and we're somehow involved in it. The one thing that doesn't make sense, though, is that they only targeted Barry, you, and me. He's the only one among us who actually had powers. So why didn't they go after Diana, or Arthur, or even Clark? You think they were taking out the weaker leaguers first? I suppose I can understand that, but why? Wouldn't you want the more powerful members out of the way so it's easier to take us down? Perhaps it wasn't about the strength of the leaguer, but their skills and abilities. Bruce. You and I fire handmade weapons and have our intellect, while everyone else literally has powers. What do we have that the others don't? Nothing to lose. I'm sorry? I actually have quite a bit to lose, so speak for yourself. I mean, we don't have any powers to lose. The others all have their own individual power or ability, but you and I, we just have ourselves. Nothing more. Alright, I can agree with that, but what's it got to do with their powers? If you were to prepare for an attack, would you want your strongest warriors on the front line, or the weakest? Well, obviously strongest. Whoever set those hits on us wanted us out of the picture, so the others were open for the taking. Exactly. Whoever that person was, they wanted to use our power-based members for a purpose. This wasn't a coincidence. It's a strategy. But what for? Then what are we doing here? We need to get out of here and start looking for this person. 
Rushing into things never accomplished anything, Oliver. We need our own strategy. Then what's your brilliant plan? Sit here and type on that computer until it gives you something? I'm sorry, but I'm a bit more of a hands-on person than you are. So if you'll excuse me. Barry? How long have you been standing there? I just got here, actually. We need to talk. Bruce is in there. Tell him everything. He's clearly not going anywhere soon. I know what Epoch's plan is. I'm sorry. What? What do you mean you know his plan? Impulse told me that before he ran back to this point in time, Epoch was somehow attacking his teammates from the past. So what? He was in two places at once? Not exactly. Epoch was fully there when Impulse nearly escaped. He said it felt like a few minutes, but once Epoch returned, he had aged at least ten years. He's mastered the time device he's created. We need to make it a top priority right now. About time you started talking common sense. I'll be on patrol. Let me know if you find anything. Bruce, there's more. Barry, it's not wise to know too much about our future. In this part you will. Impulse told me that the prophecy Rip told me about the end of the League and everything was done by one man, Vandal Savage. We've stopped him before. There's no possible way he can stop all of us. Yeah, that is, if he has allies that have the ability to time travel. Epoch. Your grandson. He told you that Epoch and Vandal Savage joined forces to take down the League, right? Not just Epoch. Reverse Flash, Abracadabra, and Kronos. Oliver and I just took on Kronos. And I took on Reverse Flash a few weeks ago. It can't be a coincidence that it was Abracadabra who broke Eobard out of the pipeline. My suspicions were right then. There is something going on, and now we know who is leading it. We need to tell the rest of the League. I agree. Oliver, we've identified who's been behind these attacks. Oh, that was quick. Who do we have to put down this time? Vandal Savage. Vandal Savage? I thought we took him down the last time his ugly self appeared. It seems we didn't hit him hard enough. We also learned from Impulse that it's the joint forces of him and Epoch that stop us. Isn't that comforting? All right. I'll keep my eye out for anything unusual. I'll let you know if anything turns up. Yeah, what's our move now? We figure out where Savage is hiding. Hello, gentlemen. I'm here for one reason. Help me complete that and I'll spare your lives. For now. We know you're here for the boy. You can't have him. Oh, Batman. I wonder if you actually believe what you say. And what's this? The original Flash? I must say, it's an honor to see you in the flesh. Unfortunately, it's right before your death. <laughs> you're done messing with time. Here! Pops, you alright? Uh, I'm good. How'd you know it was him? I didn't. I just knew if anything happened to you, then there wouldn't be a me. You got a good point there. Bruce, you alright? I'll manage. Get him down to the holding cells. And make sure we grab every piece of tech off of him. You got it. Come on, Impulse. Let's go take him together. This is totally Crash! Yeah, uh, right. He did it! I must admit, he really is a man of his word. Now that we know where the League's base is, it will be easy to wipe them all out. Excuse my interruption, but I was told you needed to talk to me. Ah, Kronos, please come in. You heard correct. It appears I have a task for you. As long as it has nothing to do with that seeming Meister, I'm in. Good. Just a few minutes ago, Epoch breached the League's base. He is currently being held there, but he was sly enough to leave a tracking device before he was taken away. I need you, along with Elbard, to retrieve him. Now that sounds like a mission worth my time. Consider it done. Speaking of, where is Eobard? I haven't seen him around here for a while. You called? Show off? Yes, Mr. Thorn. 
You and Kronos here will retrieve Epoch from the Justice League. Take out anyone who gets in your way. Sounds good to me. Well then, my dear, are you ready? I'm insulted you even had to ask me that. Come on. Things are really starting to come together. In a matter of hours, the League won't be able to stop what is to happen. Which reminds me, Aquaman really should reconnect with his loved one. Mera, my dear, would you please come to my study? I'm on my way. Epoch, do you read me? Loud and clear, Savage. I take it the plan has set in motion, yes? Indeed it has. I've sent Kronos and Aelbar to retrieve you. Once they retrieve you, I will make sure the League is distracted, while the three of you proceed with the final stages of the plan. Wiping the League out of existence. I like the sound of that. Looks like our future is coming to life after all. I'll inform you when we've started. Very good. Hello, Savage. How may I be of assistance? Mira, my dear. I believe it's time that you and your husband be reunited. Husband? What husband? Ah, we didn't do that stage, did we? Allow me to finish your conditioning. I... I remember. Arthur, my husband. Very good. Now, go to him. But remember, the man who you think is your husband is now an enemy of ours. He must be taken out in the most stealthiest of ways. Do you understand what I am asking of you? You want me to distract my husband, then when the moment arrives to kill him. It will be my pleasure. Excellent. If you manage to kill him, then be a dear and make sure to dispose of the body. We wouldn't want any evidence left behind. As you wish, Savage. Just a matter of hours now. Batman, I heard about the prisoner. Is it true? Is he really from the future? The tech definitely isn't from our time. This is highly advanced. Nothing I've ever seen before. So what do you intend to do? He will most likely deflect any form of questioning. You have a point there. Normal methods aren't going to do anything. Aha! Batman and Superman. Or should I say... Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. Yes. I know who you are. I still remember the moment I looked you both in the eye and killed you. Man, that was quite a day. The future is getting a rewrite, and you're not a part of it. Not anymore. Oh, is that so? You honestly think you can prevent me from repeating the same event that took out the entire League? You do realize that even though I am here now, that there is still a younger version of me, growing up to become the man I am today. So, even if you stop me now, there's no truly stopping me without killing my younger self. But, you don't kill, do you? Killing is never the answer. Says the man who has actually killed a few people so far. Riddler being the most recent, am I right? And Superman. The Boy Scout from Kansas. The perfect hero. Were you the perfect hero when you snapped Zod's neck? Killing him instantly? You see, you two may think you're decent men, but when you really stop and take a step back, you see all the evil you really have done. Killing is a last resort. There are always other ways to ending a fight, and those choices should be exhausted before so much of considering killing. Of course, of course, you're definitely right, but then again, killing your opponent instantly would ensure they don't ever return. Take the Joker, for instance, Batman. No matter how many times you lock him up in Arkham or Black Gate, he still somehow comes back. Now, I know what you're going to say. If I kill him, I become just like him. Well, I hate to break it to you, Bruce, but you and Joker are just two sides of the same coin. The only difference is, he's got the balls to go through with the plan. You, however, 
are not so fast to act. What the? What is this? What did you do? Me personally? I just stalled. Them, however, they came to retrieve me. Would love to chat, but we have things to do. Places to be. Oh! <laughs> to think you used to be a worthy opponent. Even Deathstroke took you down with ease. It appears age has not helped you at all. You'll never get away. Thank you for the retrieval. Now, it's time for the real fun. Savage won't win. My dear Dark Knight, he already has. Let's go. Now where do you three think you're going? Barry, you remember your bard here, yes? Unfortunately. Catch us if you can, Flash. Enough stalling. Let's go. Right. Places to be, people to erase from history. Goodbye, Justice League. Good. Luck. Arthur. What the? Arthur, are you alright? I must not be getting enough sleep. It's almost as if I saw and heard Mera. Arthur, Mera is dead. As much as I wish she was alive, she isn't. Yes, you're quite right. I am shocked you didn't try to marry him after I did supposedly die. Glitter's ghost. That's not possible. Arthur, it has been so long since we last saw each other. I have missed you. This... this is not possible, though. You died, my dear Mara. Oh, how I did miss you, my dear. You were my world. My everything. And now I'm here to stay. And Diana, it is good to see you again as well. We have much to catch up on. I'm not sure I can't quite believe this. Please forgive me. But I don't think you are who you say you are. Diana, how can you not believe what lays before your eyes? No, it's alright. She has every right to think this. If I were her, I'd think the same thing. Diana, how can I prove to you that I am really who I say to be? I'll need you to grab my lasso of truth and tell me straight to my face that you are the true Mera. Very well. Hand it over to me then. Are you the true Mera? The Mera who was to be dead? I am. And I was dead. But I was brought back to life. What? But how is that possible? There is a man. He goes by the name Vandal Savage. He had discovered the secret to immortality. Vandal Savage? It appears our last outing with him was not our last. Have I proven myself, Diana? Yes, you have. You may release the lasso now. Thank you. And he just wanted the best for us, Arthur. Don't you want that too? I do. But Savage is not the man to trust. He always has evil intentions behind the good deed he does. I assure you, he did this out of compassion, not hatred, not a lust for revenge, just pure compassion for you and I to live happily as we used to. Arthur, this is starting to sound rather too good to be true. She may be the real Mera, but I think she's here for other reasons than to reunite. But you would be correct, Miss Prince. Savage, what do you want? What is your real agenda here? Oh, the same as any other man looking to change the world. To get rid of the disease killing this world. The Justice League may have good intentions too, but what you never stop to consider is how much damage you all caused yourselves. Take, for instance, the battle against Darkseid. The League stopped him and his forces. But it took leveling almost an entire city to stop him. I'm assuming you would do it differently. As a matter of fact, I would. By simply locating the nearest boom tube, you could have sent Darkseid and his parademons back from where they came. And do you want to know the results of that? Little to no damage to the city or the people who live in it. We do the best we can to protect everyone. It may not always be clean, but we keep them safe. You're not wrong, Miss Prince. However, your best is unfortunately not enough anymore. Excuse me? You may think you are the better man, but- I am the better man, Mr. Curry. Within minutes, you two will begin to forget about close members of the League. As my team takes out you all in the past, they will rebuild it in a stronger, better way that will benefit everyone. No more unnecessary destruction, 
No more monsters or creatures lurking in the shadows or in the broad daylight attacking. The world needs my guidance, and that begins with removing the lead. How dare you? I wouldn't do that, my dear. You should listen to her. She is your wife, after all. This woman is not my wife, nor is she the queen of Atlantis. That woman died months ago. I'm truly sorry you feel that way. Kadabra, I believe the others left two other members behind. Make sure they don't go anywhere. It would be my pleasure, Savage. We have much to prepare. Vera, do me a favor and take care of these two, will you? Yes, Savage. You don't want to do this. What has Savage done to you? I don't ever recall you being strong enough to punch someone backwards like that. He made me better. He gave me things I never knew I needed before. You two will surrender, or I'll make sure the only one to leave this room is me. Give us your best shot. As you wish. Well, hello, gentlemen. Glad you stuck around. You're not going to want to miss this, but perhaps you won't even be here to witness Savage's plan. Savage is just using you. You know that, right? That may be the case, but honestly, we're still kind of using him too. I mean, how often is it that you come across someone with such an amount of resources as he has? Help us out up here, and we'll make sure you don't get killed. Nice try, Superman. Or should I say Clark Kent? The farm boy from Kansas who one day became the world's strongest hero. To think you would actually get along with Bruce Wayne here of all people is quite shocking if I'm being quite honest. Shut up and just free us. Why would I do that? <laughs> I'm, I'm here to make sure you don't go anywhere so the process can fully set in. Process? What process? The process of erasing you from existence. Where do you think Epoch, Reverse Flash, and Kronos were going when they entered that portal? For two brilliant men, you both are rather stupid when it comes to the obvious stuff. If you get rid of us, the world will go into chaos. The way Savage leads will only benefit him, not any of his followers. Oh, don't worry. We've planned for that. But let's keep that on the hush-hush, shall we? We want the big man knowing. Bruce! Bruce! What's happening to him? He's being erased from history. Don't you ever pay attention? I had strict orders to make sure you don't go anywhere, though. So I came up with something just for you. Do you like it? A nice neck chain laced in kryptonite. That was rather difficult to exactly duplicate, but I'm a very determined man. So anything is possible. You won't! Ugh. Bruce! No! Stop him. Stop. Tis a sad day for you, Clark. Losing your best friend is never easy. Best friend? Which best friend are you speaking of? Jimmy? Lois? Neither. I'm talking about Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne? Who's Bruce Wayne? My thoughts exactly. Savage. Cadabra here. Batman has successfully been erased and it seems the memory chips Epoch gave us seem to be still functioning. Very good. I have both Aquaman and Wonder Woman tied up here. Soon it'll only be Wonder Woman though. Is Superman restrained? Oh yes, he's not going anywhere. And a bonus gift, he no longer even remembers the name Bruce Wayne. Then this will be easier than I expected. Nicely done. Bring Superman up to me and prepare to bring him back to 8Q. Yes sir. Well Superman, it seems the boss has big plans for you. On your feet. Now. You won't get away with this. Savage will pay. Yeah, yeah, save it. Now I said, get up. That's the last time you will ever do that. Yes, as long as you listen to what you are told, then you're definitely correct. Now move. This is going to be one for the history books. Well, <laughs> the new history books, that is. Where are we? I'm not sure, but if I were to guess, we're in Gotham. What gave that away? The fact that there's no sun, or the fact that the sign right there literally says Gotham City, 1985. Crash. We totally traveled back in time then. This must be where Batman, I mean Bruce Wayne, was born. But he was born in 1970. 
He would be about 15 years old by now. Correction. He would have been. What do you mean, would have been? What did you do? We did what we came to do. Erase Bruce Wayne from history. Wait. If he was truly erased, then how can I still remember him? Us traveling in time must have kept it from cementing permanently. Right on the nose, Flash. What the? You're not the same Eobard Thawne I remember. Oh, but I am, Flash. I've just got a facelift. Do you like it? Or do you prefer my previous face? I realize this face has done quite a bit towards you, but it's honestly getting to be a bit old news. Don't you think? Yeah, I prefer your new face, personally. Thank you, Kronos. At least someone recognizes beauty when they see it. Unlike the three of you who can't let a man who dressed up as a bat and go beat up criminals just to avenge his dead parents' death. Actually, come to think of it, isn't that what you used to do, Mr. Queen? Yes, but I got better. Saved Star City for the people not just my own personal agenda. If you say so. Well, we'd love to stay, but we have Aquaman to erase from history as well. I warn you though, follow us and we'll kill more than just him and Batman. Until next time, Flash. Enjoy the past while you still can. All right, we can't stick together. I have to find out if they truly killed Bruce here. Actually, there might be a better way of going about this. If we send you a week before Epoch, Kronos, and Eobard come here, you could protect Bruce. Keep him from ever disappearing. Then let's get going! Once I'm there, you go after Aquaman. We are not losing any more heroes today. Agreed. Let's get going, boys. Alright, alright. I'll get to finding Bruce. You two get to Aquaman before it's too late. We'll come back for you. Come on, Impulse. Maybe I should stay with Oliver, just in case something happens to you. If anything does happen to me, you'll disappear. I appreciate the thought, but I'm good, Impulse. It's not my first time in Gotham City. It is without a Batman to back you up. You have a point there. Stop delaying. Get going now. Come on. Okay, okay. So if I were a 15-year-old billionaire in Gotham, where would I be? Perhaps a gala put on by my family's company. The Wayne Industries Charity Gala, tonight at 7 o'clock. What time is now? Of all things, I forget a watch! Uh, only one way to find out. Ask a banker. They always seem to know the time. So, this is the King's Room in Atlantis, huh? I could definitely see myself living here. Kronos, could you focus for one minute, please? Where's the little half-man, half-sea boy Arthur Curry at? Oh, we are not here for him. We're here for his mother. The one who gives birth to him. Wait, why didn't we do that with Bruce Wayne's parents then? Because the night in the alley had more than one beginning. Removing that from history would have ruined everything. He does have a valid point. So where is Aquaman's mother then? Clearly, she's not here. Kronos, check the hall outside here. Eobard, you check the rest of the kingdom. I have my suspicions where she may show up. Now get going. Time is literally of the essence. Understood. This is going to be fun. Isn't it always? <laughs> I suppose you have a point there. Now where is it? Who are you? I demand you tell me this instant. Guards? Kronos, you have company coming. Got it. I won't repeat myself. Oh, I'm sure you won't, your majesty. You won't be doing a great number of things, in fact. What do you mean by that? And where are my guards? As of right now, they are dead outside your door. Which, interestingly enough, you will be, too. This day is certainly unlike any other. Ah, your majesty. We apologize for the inconvenience. We'll have these intruders out of your hair in no time. Oh, and you may want to hide that royal jewel. I'm pretty sure he was going to take that, along with your life. Release him now, or Atlanta here gets a hand through her heart. Oh, release me, you vile man. 
He'll be doing no such thing. Oh, right. There's three of you here. Forget about that. Give this up, Thawne. You know I cannot run you. Is that so? Perhaps we should test that pick. If you can save her before my hand goes through her heart, then I'll gladly consider you to be faster than myself. You're on. Um, say what, Gramps? What are you doing? Gramps, wait. You can't be serious. You would actually have grandkids. Well, perhaps that would be more of a test than it led here. Kronos, she's all yours. I may not be as fast as my grandfather, but I'm still as quick-minded as he is. Such flair. I'm beginning to see the resemblance. Let's see how fast you truly are, little one. The name's Impulse, and don't you forget that. I never forget my next victim's name. Keep Kronos away, Gramps. Simple! <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me, speedster. And me. But now is the time for you to pick Flash. Save Atlanta from me, or stop Kronos from destroying Atlantis once and for all. You're bluffing. Even with you traveling through time, you wouldn't have been able to have all this ready by now. Such little faith in our abilities. What a shame. Yes. What a shame for you two. Now, you two need to think about what you've done with your lives. Ma'am, they won't harm you anymore. It is them who should worry about what I will do if they attempt to again. And it's majesty to you. Well said, your majesty. Please excuse me. You just had to give him more time, didn't you? Oh, shut up. I'll give you credit, kid. You're not bad. In fact, you're rather good for being the same lineage as Barry. A shame you won't be around long enough to find out more about your And I thought I was the heartless one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that too soon? <clears throat> Can't believe you did that. I knew you were a monster, but never this bad. You'll never run again. Ever! And how are you going to do that then? You're the good guy. You're the hero. Heroes don't kill. Isn't that like a rule or something you live by? I never said I was going to kill you, did I? Then how else would you stop me from running? With this vial. It was used to drain my powers once. It can drain yours as well. You have no idea how to use that. Iglesum was clever enough to know who to conceive to get all your speed. Nice try, but I've made some modifications since then. <laughs> you... You will pay for that. No, I don't think I will. I'm sorry I wasn't there to stop. I will never forget what you did. I realize we'll meet again. But it was nice to meet you. I look forward to meeting you, potentially in the future. Oliver, do you... Uh, do you read me? Barely, but yes. I can't believe our comms even work in different periods of time. I've captured Epoch, Reverse Flash, and Kronos. So, I don't need to watch over young Bruce anymore? No. I'll swing by and grab you. Where are you at exactly? A Wayne Industries charity gala. Since when do you ever attend those on purpose? Since I had to look over a young kid who just happens to be a billionaire. Excuse me, sir, but are you Robert Queen? Wait, did that man just call you your father's name? Oliver, what's really going on here? Just take the prisoners back to our time, and I'll let you know when I'm ready here. <clears throat> yes, that's me. How may I help you? Bruce Wayne has requested to talk with you. With me? Of course. This way, please. Mr. Wayne, Robert Queen for you. Thank you. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Mr. Queen, please, have a seat. Yes, of course. Thank you. This is Alfred. You could say he's like a second father to me. Pleasure to meet you, Alfred. Likewise, sir. Master Bruce, is there anything you require from me at this moment? No, Alfred. I'm good. Thank you. Mr. Queen, I wish you a good night. Thank you. So if you don't mind me asking, Bruce, what exactly is it you need from me? Your head of Queen Consolidated. The only company that could compete with mine. 
I was curious what it would take for our two companies to come to an agreement and possibly work together. Well, I'm very flattered that you considered my company a close competitor to yours. However, all it would take is you asking and meeting with the board. I'm sure we could come to an understanding. After all, you seem like a good man, and I like that in people I work with. Excellent. When can I expect to hear about a meeting with the board? Call them in the morning and tell them Robert Queen referred you. After that, state what you'd like to offer in return for our services. Thank you, Mr... Please, Robert. Thank you, Robert. I hope to see you a lot more often. Likewise, Bruce. Master Bruce, I hate to interrupt, but a Mr. Savage is here to see you. Well, it seems like our time is up, Mr. Qu Robert. Bruce, take some advice from me. Do not meet with that man. He is not here to talk business. He's here to kill you. Kill him? Why would he want to kill Master Bruce? Let's just say he's a rather ruthless businessman who doesn't stop till he gets what he wants. Mr. Queen, I thank you for the advice, but I can really handle myself. If not, I have Alfred here to keep me safe. All right, but just be careful with him. Have a good night. And again, it was a pleasure to speak with you. Barry, come in! Oliver, it's about time. What are you doing? I just had a run-in with a young version of Bruce. Whoa. How was that? Did he have the same cold attitude he does in the future? Eh, somewhat nicer. I do have a situation, though. When you return to the future, where was Savage? That's the thing I've been meaning to tell you. Because we stopped his time-traveling assassin group, Aquaman was killed. The tragic part, it was done by his wife, Mira. What? So he died either way? What about Bruce? Is he still around? I can't tell for sure. Time's still in flux. Whatever you do, though, make sure Bruce doesn't get killed. So, then I take it Savage is no longer there, yes? It looks like it, yes. I have no idea where he went, though. I do. He's here. Oliver, you can't take him by yourself. You need backup. Then you and Impulse can run here. Impulse is no longer with us. I'm sorry, Barry. I truly am. I'll be there in a... well, you know, just keep Bruce safe. This isn't my first rodeo, Barry. Just get here as fast as you can. On my way. Hello, Bruce. My name is Vandal Savage. I worked with your father for years before we went our separate ways. This here is my associate, Abe. He handles all my business situations. May I have a seat? Yes, please. This is Alfred. Good evening, gentlemen. A pleasure to meet you, sir. So, you never did say what company you were from. If you worked with my father, then you must have had a company or something of that sort. I was more of a freelance man. I helped where it was needed, which is why I'm here tonight. With your parents' death, Wayne Industries truly lost a great part of itself. But with you here, we can rebuild that. What are you suggesting? Allow me to mentor you and bring you to the level your father was. When we're done, you'll never know your company the same way again. It'll run faster and more efficient. That does sound most intriguing. However, I already have a mentor, Mr. Fox. Oh yes, Lucius Fox. He's a good mentor, I won't disagree with you. But there is only so much he can teach you, Bruce. Look, I'm very grateful for your offer, but... I must greatly decline. That is a very unwise decision, Bruce. Nobody's perfect. Myself included. Now that we can agree on. Abe, now. Yes, sir. What's going on? What are you doing? I told you it was unwise to decline my offer. Now you're going to pay the price for it. You stay away from Master Bruce. Come on, sir. It's time to go. Alfred, you took the words right out of my mouth. Run, Master Bruce. Run! Who saved me? Alfred, I must know. Likewise. Abra, can your nanobites find who deflected my knife? Of course they can. Don't waste your time. This ends here, Savage. So, you're still alive. Good. Means I can kill you just like I killed your friend, Arthur. Whatever you did to his wife to make her kill him, it's not going to happen ever again. Then why don't you stop me? What's preventing you? Ah, oh, young Bruce here. Sorry, Alfred. Do your... Alfred! No, Alfred! Why did you do that? Because, my boy, what you do in the future greatly interferes with my plan. Savage! Leave the boy alone! Abra, take care of him! Certainly. Flash, any time now! 
Hello again. Looks like Earth-19 is missing a prisoner. And looks like you'll be missing a hero very soon. <laughs> That's better. Flash, glad you could join us. I would say it's an uneven fight without Epoch, Eobard, or Kronos, but I don't need them to stop the two of you. Yeah? Then prove it. On my mark. So, who wants to go first? Now! <laughs> a great effort, truly. However, I find a more personal approach is better. Really think speed would help you, Mr. Allen? I've trained with Eobard. I've mastered stopping a speedster, even at their fastest speed. You can't stop me. The two of you alone are no match for me. Then perhaps I may be of assistance. Rip Hunter, well this certainly is a surprise. I figured it would be, after our last go. I thought our fight was over, but I must have greatly underestimated you. A very accurate deduction. I won't this time. Barry, I need you to create a tornado. Inside the building? Couldn't that, I don't know, kill you all? Just do it! An arrow, I take it if you have an electric arrow in that quiver, yes? I do! Aim three of them at the top of the tornado. You really think that will stop me, Rip? Nice try, but it won't. Don't underestimate me, Savage. Is that a threat? You really must have grown balls from the last time we faced off. Barry, get going! Right! This is impressive, but yet again, it won't stop me. You know, out of all this time, I thought stopping an immortal man was going to be impossible. But then I met a man who showed me one way you can take that away. I guess it was fate that I met him. Dr. Fate? No, he's merely a legend, a made-up tale. Actually, he's not, and he sends his regards. You will not stop me. I will never be stopped. Sorry, but that's no longer true. Mr. Allen, a bit faster. Rip, if you're going to do something, now is the time. Say goodbye to your immortality, savage. <laughs> No! This is not possible! I will not die! I will not die! What's happening to him? I'd say Rip is leveling the playing field. Arrow, he is all yours. About time. How does it feel to feel pain again? To be just like us? For all the death you've caused, for all the pain you've caused, you killed close friends of ours. You killed innocent people just to get your way. No more. Arrow, that's enough. I have broken you. I have made you a victim of your emotions. My emotions may be my weakness, but they are also my strength too. Goodbye, Savage. Never come back. Truly dead. I don't need any pulse. Well, gentlemen, it has been a pleasure working together. I will take Savage and make sure his body never reaches the likes of those who will want to bring him back. Rip, you have to burn it. I'm sorry? You have to burn his body. There's no other way. Well, that is a bit extreme. I actually agree with you. I look forward to our next meeting. Until then. I'd say Bruce is safe for sure now. Thank goodness. I don't know what we would have done if we had erased Come him. Come on, let's get back home. Right, hold on. Alfred. Who was that man? I'm afraid I have no idea, Master Bruce, but I suggest we leave. This place is a disaster. Alfred, can you train me to fight like that man in the green hood? I will admit, a bow and arrow aren't exactly the best modes of fighting, but one-on-one -on -one contact always is the best approach. Luckily, I was trained by top martial artists who knew more than one method of fighting. May I ask you why? Why have you this sudden desire to learn to fight? If I would have known how to fight when my parents were killed, I could have stopped the man who fired the gun. Bruce, it wasn't your fault that they died. I'm not so sure about that, Alfred. Either way, it's up to me to avenge their deaths and make sure no one else has to go through it like I did. Very well, Master Bruce. We'll start training in the morning. Thank you, Alfred.
Man, that never gets easier to adjust to. I've had a bit of time to adjust. Well, next time, I'll find a less sickening way of time travel. Oliver, Barry. I'm sorry about Arthur. I truly am. I wasn't here to stop it from happening. Oliver, we don't blame you for his death. It was Cyrus collecting his wife. Speaking of, where is she? She's been put in our high security vault. I'm running a program that will wipe Vandal's condition away. It should leave the old mare intact. Man, is it good to see you again. And I'm gonna have to sit in the sun all day to get my strength back after we're having that kryptonite chain on me. You know, if it weren't for Impulse coming back to warn us, I think Rip's prophecy probably would have come true. He was a brave man, Barry. He reminded me a lot like you. Well, I guess it runs in the family. No pun intended. It's only just that we hold a proper burial for them. Arthur and Impulse proved today that they are the true heroes, giving their lives to ensure that countless others were safe. Barry? Would you like me to call Iris? I think this needs to be a private matter. I'll be alright. Well, if anybody needs someone to talk to, we're here. No more talking. Let's move. Man, to think I saved him, only for him to remain the same. Hey, take the win. At least he's still here, instead of being a race like he almost was. I suppose you have a point there. Come on, let's go pay our respects. Today, we have come here not to mourn, but to celebrate the lives that these brave souls lived. Today, we come here not to mourn, but to celebrate the great lives that these brave souls lived. They both put people first, and put their own needs behind them, no matter the situation. Arthur Curry, the now late King of Atlantis, would be greatly missed. He had united so many people in a time where most could not even imagine being united. An impulse. Though we do not know him very well, it was evident that he was here to save the people of his own time for something truly horrific. Grandson to Barry. You will always live on in our memory, but in yours even more, Barry. Thank you. That means a lot, really. We bury these two not to hide the fallen, but to return them to the place where they belong. Barry, would you like to say anything? Actually, I would. Impulse may have been from the future, but he was still family nonetheless. It was my fault that he died. For once, I wasn't fast enough. I wasn't focused enough. He died in the hands of Eobard Thawne better known as the Reverse Flash. There isn't a moment that goes by where I say it to myself, it should've been me. It should've been me. It should've been me. It should've been me. I let him down after he looked up to me. After he counted on me. What kind of grandfather lets his grandson down like that? In the end, he was brave. He was a flash. He was a future I was happy with. He may be dead here today, but there will be a day where we can all look at him and know what he did, and know that he has a better future now because of his sacrifice. Thank you. It's all right, Barry. Just let it out. Bruce, you can't even stay to watch them go into the grind. Someone has to watch over Gotham. It's not like I have a flash or a green arrow to protect it like I did when I was a young man. Oh, so he does remember that. Well, I'll be damned. I think that's probably the closest thing to a compliment that he's said for a while. Yeah, I agree with that as well. Impulse, are you coming or what? Artemis, I swear, just give me a minute, will you? <sighs> Whatever, I'm leaving. This place creeps me out anyways. Superboy, afraid of graveyards? <laughs> I just... I don't like being around dead people. You are such a wimp, man. <laughs> Let's go. Thanks, Gramps. Thanks for everything. 